Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we have a super awesome effect here, this super sick projection effect. I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of it, some different way to do it. Extremely, extremely simple. I'm gonna show you within Adobe Premiere and After Effects. I really love it because it looks like there's a layer on top of the blending mode, and it looks like I rotoscoped it out, but it's much more simpler than that. Also wanna mention, in the title, this is called a VHS projection effect. In fact, you can actually use other clips other than just VHS clips. So I'm gonna show you some other really cool examples as soon as we start. I'm also gonna show you some of the clips that I'm using in this exact scenario. You get some really beautiful looking stuff going on here with some really cool effects and it's only affecting some specific parts of the video. So we'll go into that with this tutorial. Also want to mention if you're looking for a quick free VHS pack to use to experiment with this, there's one already on my website for free download and use. Check out my website mediamonopoly.co. We also have some really cool preset packs, anything else you guys want to pick up to buff up your videos. Link for that will be down below. Leave a like if you do enjoy the content and want to see it grow. Anyways, let's hop right into this without any more talking. So we're going to start from scratch here. So this is just color graded. That's the only thing that's going on with this. Next, we grab our VHS assets. If you're starting from scratch, best place to start is pick up my VHS pack from my website. Let me actually bring that up and show you in case you guys have never checked it out before. You can just go ahead and click on video products. And if you scroll down here, you'll find a bunch of really awesome assets, as you can see, for $0, green screen packs, a bunch of just royalty-free stuff. And then we also have a bunch of these other products that you can look into if you're interested. All you need to do is enter your info. You don't have to enter any credit card stuff. Just skip that part, click purchase. Since it's $0, it'll go through. Once you have that pack, you can just drag the clips right into Adobe Premiere. You can put them in a video layer above your original footage just by grabbing a clip placing it like this, very, very simple. Now, some of these other little VHS clips that I have here, these are found on other websites and I'm gonna leave a link below if you would like to download those. Those are some pretty cool stuff and I grabbed these off of free websites as well. So check those out. So here's what this normal VHS clip looks like, just some normal kind of scratchiness. Now, what we need to do is search for your set matte effect. So go over to your effects and presets and maybe over here if you click these arrows and click effects or if you're in the editing workspace, it may be over on your right or if you're in the effects workspace. It depends on your own little workspace that you work out of and you prefer. Find your effects library and just search for the set matte effect. It'll be under the channel folder. Just go ahead and grab that and drop it. Not on your original footage. You wanna place that on your VHS overlay clip, which is in the layer above. Place the set matte there. And then you can select that VHS overlay and you can come up to your effect controls here. So select your effect controls and then you'll see the set matte here. So, it's very simple to set this up, like I said. You're gonna have a few options within this effect. You have take map from layer. You want to set this to whatever video layer your footage is in. So this is a very, very, very important step because if you do this effect and then later on throughout your editing process, you select this and move it, you're gonna have to remember to go back in here and change the layer which your original footage is in. So make sure you remember that. Let's place this back into video layer one. We're gonna select our VHS clip with our set matte effect. We're gonna place that take matte from layer onto video layer one, where our original footage is here. Next, what we wanna do is this is basically the channel which is going to be pulled from the original matte layer. So this is where you can do a lot of experimentation. I found that saturation works really great for a clip like this. Now you can see that it's kind of pulling away some saturation from the original video clip layer. You can see it's affecting our saturation layer where all this red lighting is, which is great. It's doing what we want it to do, but we wanna switch some things around. So first off, let's select our VHS layer. We're gonna go back to our effect controls and under opacity, we're gonna mess around with our blending modes. So one that I really like to use is color dodge. If you come over here, it'll say color dodge. You can place that there and then our color comes back to normal and you're only seeing that VHS. Now let's take it a step further. This is kind of light. You can barely see it. So let's select our clip. Make sure we're in our color workspace and we're going over to our basic correction. You can also go over to your curves, whatever you want to work out of. So let's grab our curve and let's just pull that up so we can get the highlights of the VHS popping up. And there you go, it just looks a lot better, a lot more clear just by bumping up the actual curve of that. So don't be afraid to hop into your lunchy color curves and experiment with this, maybe bump contrast, maybe bump exposure. So with a lot of that bumped up to really bring out the white in the VHS, you get this really sick look, which I like a lot. And of course, you don't have to always put on color dodge, you can experiment with this. And that's the basics of it. Like I said, it's extremely, extremely simple. 
just in case you guys didn't catch on the first time since there are like one or two steps let's repeat it with another clip so you guys can memorize that and then lock it into your brain also if you want save this video into a playlist if you do forget you can come back to this video later whenever you are editing your projects and you'll have this full step-by-step -step guide all right, so let's grab another clip. This is what this VHS clip looks like. Like I said, a link to this will be down below. I found some cool ones on the internet and it's a mix of my own VHS pack stuff as well. So let's go ahead and start from scratch. First steps first, you wanna have your video layer. You wanna have your footage in your video layer one or whatever layer it's in. Just remember which layer that your actual footage is in. Step number two, you want to place your overlay clip on top of your video layer as such. And normally with an overlay, people will just change the blending mode and they'll just have something like this. The reason why we're using the set mat on top of this and not just changing blending mode over here is because with the set mat, it'll kind of lock on to those specific channels we want to target, which is what we're going after. So you go to your effects and presets library now, search for set mat, and you drag that onto your overlay clip, not your footage clip. So remember, drag it onto your overlay clip, select your overlay clip, head over to your effect controls, and then hop down into your set mat effect controls. What you want to do is, like I said, take that take mat from layer and place it on the video layer which your footage is in so video layer one drop that on there and then choose the channel which you want to change in effect so this is another thing you can exp experiment with this is also very dependent on the clip and footage you're using with a clip like this where it's very green in the background and then there's high saturation on the subject putting it on saturation makes sense and let's change our blending mode just so we can see what this looks like so I'll put it on color dodge I'm also going to do the same thing. I'm going to bump up the exposure for my VHS layer, not my original footage. Hop into my curves and I'll just make sure that really pops out. You can even um, add some contrast in there, maybe bump the saturation to get more of that color in there. So that's what that looks like. And like I said, only affecting the saturation channel. And to give a better visual representation of what I mean when I'm saying that, if I actually hide my video layer one, our actual footage, Here's what this set matte effect is doing. It's taking the information from this first video layer, it's setting that matte and applying only this clip to the saturation channel or whatever channel we select. So you can really kind of see um, the ghosting overlay of what this saturation channel is affecting. And using this technique of hiding the video layer is a great way to experiment with these different little um, channels for changing things. So you can see if I put it on saturation, that affects a lot of what I want to be affecting. If we switch it around and maybe put it on hue, that as you can see is a lot more added upon. So if we bring back our footage, this is affecting a more broad area. Area. So let's hide that again and then we can change it around maybe luminance This is basically the lightness coming out of the clip and then you can also target specific colors Which is a cool little trick um, So if you have something if you have a clip with a lot of red greens or blues You can lock it onto there You'll see that when I select blue it's kind of faded But when I select the red since there was more red lighting that becomes a little bit more defined So essentially I like to keep it around luminance hue lightness and saturation you guys can experiment with it. Saturation for this clip just works really well. But like I said, don't always just put it on saturation. It's always going to be dependent on the clip that you are using. So that looks great. And the originals that I did that I showed you at the beginning, I just stacked a tons of different effects onto here to experiment with the looks. So like I said, if you're looking for cool stuff, check out my website, pick up some of those preset packs, adding glows, flickers, all those other kind of cool flashy effects, not just using preset packs, but just experimenting in general with different effect combinations where you can, you can get some really awesome looking stuff with this set mat it saves you time it's basically like a rotoscope job that does really well we're gonna go ahead and use this little film burn clip which I have and we're gonna go ahead and do the same exact step so a little bit faster this time you have your video you have your video footage here you have your overlay clip so here's what our clip looks like originally and you can just find these over the internet free stock websites if you just look up film burn um, and what we're going to do here is we're going to look up the set matte effect over in our effects and presets library, drag and drop that on the overlay clip, head up to your effect controls, and then take matte layer from where our footage is at that we want to be affecting. So video layer one. And then we're also going to change our blending mode to something like color burn, color dodge. And there we go. We can see through it now looking pretty cool now we want that matte effect to only affect one channel so we'll go to the use for matte and we're going to select the saturation because that works really well with this clip as i said and you get this really sick looking effect and of course you can experiment with it so in my opinion it's kind of like a pimped out version of blending modes it's kind of like a blending modes level two because you can basically blend onto one specific channel that you want so having this knowledge is really sick i mean in this situation i really like how it looks if you 
you want to have that film burn maybe with VHS, just make sure you select the VHS clip and make sure the matte layer is still on video layer one. You can mix and match those, which is pretty cool. And that's about it, guys. Now let's switch into After Effects. I'm going to show you the same exact thing for those of you that work with After Effects, prefer After Effects. It's pretty much the exact same workflow. So we're going to create a composition here. So in our After Effects composition, let's go ahead and bring in that same exact clip that we use within Premiere. Go ahead and bring in our VHS or whatever overlay clip you're using. We go over to our effects and presets. You search for a set mat, place that on your overlay clip here. And then you come up to your overlay clip. You want to do the same exact thing. So take mat from layer and then you can actually just select the name of the layer with an After Effects. So it makes it a bit easier. So test footage here and use mat saturation which works well with this clip looking good. And then the last thing we want to do, which is a bit different, you don't go up to your effect controls to change opacity and after effects. You click toggle switches and modes until you see your blending mode, little drop down there, put it on color dodge or whatever else you want. And then if you want to do the color correction, you're going to have to go to effects, color correct, or you can just search your effects and presets. Just find a little curves effect, drop that bad boy on there and then bump the highlights up do whatever you want and then with the curves and then I really like the curves in particular because you can really manipulate that to get some really crazy different blends going on there so if you want the full like maybe only the eyes not affected that looks pretty sick so experiment with that guys I hope you did enjoy this tutorial like I said really cool effect um, I like how it's very simple to do it's great for beginners great music video effect so I think it's a good fit for you guys so anyways thank you so much for watching guys leave a like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy as always relevant links will be down in the description thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys so much for supporting and I'll catch you guys in the next one